Last week we lit the Prophecy or Hope Advent candle. This week we light the Bethlehem candle that also represents faith or peace. Joseph and Mary had great faith to travel to Bethlehem for the birth of Jesus and to raise him as their son. We all can rejoice with the peace of knowing that Jesus came as a baby to pay for our sins. So we all have eternal life. From you, O Bethlehem, shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people. We're going to talk about our family traditions for Christmas. So you first. Uh, growing up in uh, rural eastern Iowa, basically our big tra main tradition was the fact that on Christmas Eve is when we attended our Christmas Eve services in a small rural community. Um, children's performances, of course, and then uh, dinner that night was always chili or oyster stew for those of us who didn't uh, didn't want chili. But uh, leading up to that, uh, as kids, we always had our stockings hung by the window, and uh, there would be a treat dropped in there on a daily basis. Um, uh, Mom and Dad had it arranged with a local area guy who performed as Santa would come and knock on the window to make sure we were being good little kids at the time. But and then after church on uh, Christmas Eve, it was uh, cookies, cocoa, and so forth. A little music, and that's when we'd open our gifts because uh, the next day was always where we'd have Christmas gatherings for extended family on both sides. So, and those are the things that uh, bring the fondest memories in our lives as well as those we've developed together as well. So, And in my family, uh, my folks always went to Florida for Christmas. And so on Thanksgiving, we would have our Thanksgiving dinner with the Christmas tree lit. We would have our Christmas presents all done, and we would open our presents. So our traditional Christmas was turkey, obviously. Um, and it was kind of fun for two reasons. You got your gifts early. You had to shop early because you knew Thanksgiving was it. Um, and so for Christmas, it was just our family with our kids. And you know, it was kind of a nice, quiet time to do that as well. So we want to thank everyone. Have a Merry Christmas and a new year. So. Bless you. Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, to the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. Luke chapter 2 verses 4 through 5. Where do you celebrate Christmas? At your home? Or do you travel to a friend or relative's home? In Russia, people walk through deep snow on Christmas Eve to attend a special service that lasts all night, from midnight to morning. In Venezuela, each morning from December 16th through the 24th, firecrackers explode and bells ring to call people to church. The people travel to church by roller skates to make sure they don't oversleep. It's a custom to tie a long piece of string around your big toe and hang it out the window when you go to bed. Then, as skaters head to church, they can pull any string they see to wake up their friends and neighbors. The journey Mary and Joseph took to Bethlehem that first Christmas wouldn't have been easy. Mary was about to give birth, and they didn't have a car, plane, or train to hop into. It would have taken four to six days for them to travel by foot and donkey on rugged roads. When they arrived, they didn't have a comfortable hotel with a hot shower or a swimming pool, or even a sleeping bag on the floor or a guest room. Instead, they shared a stable or cave with farm animals. Today, many travel to Bethlehem to celebrate Christmas. The big church of the nativity in Manger Square is built over the place where people believe Jesus was born. Next door is St. Catherine's Church, a popular attraction where thousands come to look and pray during the Christmas season. Unfortunately, many say Christmas is the only time they attend church. We join with Christians around the world 
and pray that people will be guided by their faith to worship our Lord all year round. This week we asked our members where they were going to celebrate on Christmas Day, and it looks like most of us are going to stay pretty close to home in Cedar Rapids or at their homes. We were reminded that there are some that will be working on Christmas Day on December 25th, which is a good reminder that Christmas isn't just one day. Let us pray. Dear Lord, the little town where your son was born is a holy place. Be with those who travel to Bethlehem and others, other destinations this Christmas season. Renew our faith and open the hearts of all of all Christmas as places for your love to be born. Amen. <laughs>